Had it not been for Phyllis and the pregnancy center, I would be dead. They saved my life. My son saved my life. Now it is my turn to defend the very cause that saved me. Not long ago, I stood before the Vermont Senate and testified about my experience as a human trafficking survivor who became the first black woman in the state to direct a pregnancy center. I had been asked to testify against a bill targeting pro-life pregnancy centers, falsely claiming that we mislead the public about our services. But my story shows that this narrative is a lie. I am living proof that pregnancy centers love, serve, and commit ourselves to the men, women, and children of our communities who need our help. My name is G. Marie Davis. I serve as the Executive Director of Branches Pregnancy Resource Center in Brattleboro, Vermont. From age 2 to 29, I was trafficked in 33 different states. I suffered severe abuse, rape, and even murder attempts by various pimps. I was heavily addicted to hard drugs like crystal meth and cocaine. I eventually reached a point where I intentionally sought to end my life by overdosing. But at 29, even though I was losing weight from the drugs, my belly kept growing. I soon discovered the pregnancy that would ultimately save my life. Completely apathetic, denying the pregnancy, my pimp demanded that I give him $1,500. I refused. I told him I was done being his slave. He even sent people to kill me, but I escaped. Pregnant, terrified, and with nowhere to go, I ran away from the only life I had ever known. With only $1.38 to my name, I had very few places to turn. After being denied housing by 27 shelters, I finally found one that agreed to help. They connected me with a local pregnancy center where a woman named Phyllis changed everything. She called me with a single kind touch and the words, I know a man named Jesus who can help you. In that moment, I abandoned my former life forever. The Pregnancy Center provided me with free resources and support to take care of my son. I was also able to realize dreams I had never imagined. I got a job at a local hospital and earned my college degree while working with families at a safe house program. Years later, I came to serve as executive director for Branches. I have worked in this role to raise awareness of the services we provide to the local community. Branches helps to care for and connect those who are homeless with the resources they need. The CEO of one of the largest hospitals in Vermont has requested to collaborate with us. We are also training the local police department to learn how to identify human trafficking and save victims of the industry. Had it not been for Phyllis and the pregnancy center, I would be dead. They saved my life. My son saved my life. Now it is my turn to defend the very cause that saved me. Unfortunately, the bill I testified against has since become law. Now, if we advertise our services in a way that Vermont's pro-abortion attorney general claims to be misleading, we face fines up to $10,000 for each violation. But the law is vague. For example, one witness during a hearing on the bill said that even naming a pregnancy center The Women's Center should violate the law since it somehow sends the message that abortions are available there. The law also bars our staff members who are not licensed by the state from handing out health-related information. Of course, the law applies only to pro-life pregnancy centers in the state. Abortion businesses, non-licensed staff members can still pass out information, but our staff members cannot. Vermont wants to shut down pregnancy centers because we don't support the state's extreme abortion agenda. That's why Branches, along with another Vermont pregnancy center, Aspired Now, and the National Institute of Family and Life Advocates, worked with Alliance Defending Freedom to file a lawsuit challenging the law. The government has no business shutting down our life-saving work. Pregnancy centers should be free to serve their communities without fear of unjust government punishment. 
Our work powerfully shows that there is real help for men, women, and children in need who feel like there's no hope. Whether it's human trafficking, homelessness, abuse, or abortion, the hateful narrative that smears pro-life pregnancy centers says I fell victim to their work. That is a lie. Because of pregnancy centers, I was set free. Follow our case at adflegal.org. Before you go, click like on this video and subscribe to this channel so you never miss an episode.